Good morning. Do you know it's a cool day here? I don't know where you are watching this, but I'm telling you, it's cool here. And I don't know about snow. Oh, that it just seems a little early for snow. But if snow comes, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Now, I want you to feel very free to send your prayer request to maronandsarah.org because we have people who are praying with us and we see wonderful, wonderful answers to prayer. So I want to talk with you today about coping with difficult people. Now that can be family, that can be neighbors, that can be your boss, that can be people who work under you that just give you a hard time. But everybody has some difficult people. And so if I said, oh, I never had difficult people, you would say, Marilyn, you are lying. Everybody has had difficult people. And in Exodus 32, 1 through 5, when the people saw that Moses was so long on coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, come, make us gods who will go before us. So when you have difficult things, sometimes we don't look to the right source. And so they're saying, oh, we'll just make some gods and we'll take all the gold earrings that your wives, <coughs> your sons and your daughters are wearing and brought them to Aaron. And he took what they handed him and he made an idol, oh yuck, 55 times, into the shape of a calf, fashioning who brought up and said, these are your gods who brought you up out of Egypt. Oh. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar in front of the calf and announced, tomorrow there will be a festival to the Lord. Be careful who you listen to and follow. Are they taking you out of godly principles? It can be. And so be careful, because sometimes we have family or neighbors or who knows what all, somebody we work with or work for, and they try to lead us aside. But we don't have to go aside. That's our decision, and you are going to make the right decision. So what was God's reaction to these people? And Exodus 32, 7 through 10, then the Lord said to Moses, go down because your people, and this is something, he doesn't claim them as his, that you brought out of Egypt have become corrupt. They have made themselves an idol cast in the shape of a calf. They have bowed down to it and sacrificed to it and have said, these are your gods. Ugh. These are the ones who brought you up out of Egypt. And so watch people who are trying to lead you away from the Bible, from Christian principles. And I think that's especially key for young people in the dating days, you know, and who they want to marry. And Moses' reaction to God he argues for problem people. Exodus 32, 11 through 13. And I love the way, I love the way he argues. Your people <laughs> that you brought up, why should your anger burn against your pe people whom you brought out of Egypt with great power and a mighty hand? They're your people. So he dumped them back on God. And then he talked about God's glory. Why should the Egyptians say that it was with evil intent that he brought them out to kill them in the mountains and to wipe them off the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce anger. Relent and do not bring disaster to your people. Ugh. And then he talks about glory. What brings glory to God? Why should the Egyptians say, oh my, it was with evil intent that he brought them out. And he wanted to kill them in the mountains and to wipe them off the face of the earth. Turn from your fierce anger, relent, and do not bring disaster to your people. Now maybe this is stirring some things in you and you have some prayer requests 
And so you need to feel free to call us and you can send your prayer request to marilynandsarah.org. And then he reminds them of God's word. And that's something I think we need to do early in the morning. You know, you say, why early? Because you start your day with the word. I start my day with the word. This morning, you know, I have a whole list of things that I speak for my day. And one of them was to get to minister to you. And I really like that. You know, I am basically a pastor's wife. And I love to teach the Bible to people. I love to see how the Bible changes people. And when he says, remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, to whom you swore by your own self, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And I will give your descendants all this land I have promised them, and it will be their inheritance forever. Wow. So Moses reacts to difficult people. He saw the people worshiping the golden calf and he broke the tablets. And so dealing with difficult people often is laying down the line. This is the way it has to be. And Moses loved people and he stood in the gap for them. And he entreated God to go with them as a sign as the other nations that their God was God. What did he want? He wanted people to see the Lord. And he wanted to see them to see that he loved them and had good things. And God changed his mind. Oh, and accompanied them and kept the covenant promise to the people. Now, when you pray for difficult people, do you pray, oh God, wipe them out. I'm disgusted with them. And they're hateful to me. And maybe they're your relatives, your neighbors, or people you work with. Be careful. Be careful. That can be, you can be very cautious. Can we ask God to show his glory to difficult people? Remember, the goodness of God leads you to repentance, not being hateful. Oh, just slam them to the wall. But God let them see that you are good and that you love them and you don't give up on them. This is, this is a very important lesson because all of us deal with difficult people. Sometimes they're neighbors, sometimes they're relatives, sometimes we work with them and they work with us and they're just pretty crazy. But if we can pray and stand in the gap and not just be gap finders, but be gap standers and pray for them. And I'm not saying you feel that way. I'm just saying the Bible says it. So we say it, we believe it, and we receive it. And this is a very important lesson for you today. I'm so glad you watched because everybody faces difficult people. And if we can say, well, I don't, I, I think you're not telling the truth. I think you have some difficult people, maybe neighbors, maybe family, maybe people you work with or work under. But I'm telling you, we can speak the promises of God and we can overcome the problems that come our way. And we can be a problem solver instead of someone who's always talking about the problems. Oh, how hard my life is. Just be quiet and say how good God is and watch how good he is. And remember, don't forget, send your prayer request to marilynandsarah.org because we take those seriously and we pray over them and, and we get answers. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Music.